Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Today we are going to paint something bright and beautiful because it is bright and beautiful outside and I'm quite motivated to paint this sunflower with you today. So today we're going to use simple techniques to paint something that's wall worthy and also I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this monstrosity <laughs> um, into something beautiful. So it just goes to show that, you know, even if we make a little bit of mistake, maybe we can't look at it for a while, maybe we have to hide it in the closet. That's okay, but don't throw it away. Um, especially right now, it's sometimes hard to get supplies, so pull out those old canvases or planks of wood or whatever it is that you've been hiding away. And uh, let's paint something beautiful together. So as you saw, I have Christmas red and um, daffodil yellow. So I'll be using that and also mixing the two colors to make uh, different uh, colors of orange, lighter red, uh, pink, etc. So I'll get to play with that and play with some blending and mixing today. So go ahead and grab that. And also, as usual, you'll need your paint brushes. I usually have a nice a large brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. Um, we won't be doing a lot of small detail work, so if you don't have a small brush, that is okay. And today I have this humongous uh, brush that I'll be using as the large brush, and then also my medium brushes. Here and here. Nothing, nothing too fancy, um, just whatever you have, you can make it work for this painting for sure. Okay, so let's get your canvases out and um, let's start. So as I said before, I'm going to be painting over this. <laughs> um, this didn't go very well. I don't even know why I have this um, in my collection, I, in my pile of canvases. I don't know what was going on here, but I figured now is the time to paint over that. So I'm going to be using my large brush, which I already have a little bit of paint on. Um, put some black on your plate or your palette. Nice medium, medium, small uh, blob of paint. Make sure you give that a good shake before you put that on there. Okay, so then you load up your brush really good with paint. And we're going to start from the bottom and just nice long strokes like that. So that kind of grainy look, that's kind of what we're going for. And actually this works really good when you have a foam brush, um, but just a regular brush will do. Okay, so just nice long streaks like that all over the canvas. And another tip too is if it's not quite blending or going exactly the way you think it should be going, um, you could try adding a little bit of water. So I'm just going to dip my brush in and add a few drops to my plate. Um, you don't want it dripping wet, but uh, you do want just it to be a little bit uh, more wet and then you can kind of see. And just light. That might help the blend a little bit for what you want. Okay, so we're going to just keep going over this um, to get the desired look. So just lightly, lightly brush like that. I mean, it's not going to look like very much at first, but just keep working on it, um, adding just a little bit of streaks, and then we're going to keep going over it until it gets kind of that uh, blended, grainy, wood-like uh, painting that you're wanting. Thank you. 
Okay, so here we can see a little bit of the difference between adding a tiny little bit of water and no water at all. So this is kind of what you want. You Over here, this is what you want. You want to have kind of that grainy, streaky looking... Oh yeah, look at those lines. Beautiful. That's what you want for this background. Um, if it's looking like this, that's okay. Just try to get a little bit of water. Like I said, if, mix a, little, a few little drops with the black that you have on your plate already. And uh, give it a few, few strokes like that. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep painting. is all dry thanks to my little blow dryer um, this is the desired look I think you can see that a little bit better on here that kind of grainy uh, streaky look looks like beautiful black wood <laughs> and that big ugly thing that was there before it kind of looks like a knot in the wood so I'm pretty happy with how that cover-up went um, if you've gone a little bit too far with the black, which tends to happen sometimes, um, don't don't worry. Just add a little bit of white to your mixture, um, that watery black mixture that you have, and put in a few streaks. Maybe it'll look a little different, uh, but that's okay. Um, if it looks a little bit different, it's just part of the experience, part of the art. And in the end, you'll have something that is definitely your own personality, your own unique style. Maybe you'll discover a blending that you really enjoy and you'll be able to use that in other projects. So it's all part of the learning. Now we're going to work on the corner part of your canvas. We're going to make that um, large center of the flower. So we'll still need our black, um, but this time put some black on your paint. <laughs> put some black on your palette uh, where where the water isn't. So you can use your medium brush for this. You can put that uh, large brush away for a bit, rinse it in the water, put it off to the side. Okay, so I put a little bit of black on my plate in a spot where it was dry. I just think that this side is already quite dark thanks to this guy. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be painting this corner. Okay, so solid black and basically just start getting some paint on there. So what I want like to do is kind of make an outline of where I want that flower center to be. And you don't want it too far over this way, otherwise you're going to lose those petals. So I'm going to paint down to about here. 
and then fill in this whole area in solid black. So if you're more comfortable, you can blow dry this part um, to get it ready. This part should be all dry, so if you want to just get started on doing the red, that's okay. You don't necessarily have to wait for this to dry. Just, we'll just have to be careful about how close we get to that part, okay? So make sure that your medium brush is very nice and clean, or use a second um, medium-sized brush. And we're just going to dip into that uh, beautiful rich red color or whatever color you've decided to use. Um, if you've chosen two different colors, it's better to use the darker of the two for this part and then add your highlighting colors afterwards. Okay, so I like to start where the feature petal <laughs> kind of is, the petal that is most pronounced and that you will see the most of. So that will be the petal that is going into this shape towards this corner. So you don't necessarily ha have to paint right towards that uh, corner piece, but somewhere in that general direction. And uh, just going to make the outline so we can see where that petal is going to be. Oh, I love how, I love red on black. I think that is so pretty. And uh, wow, that's a really nice bright red against that black background. Okay, so then work out from there. So now it's like, okay, well that's where that's going. And I'm going to put one here. And another little guy here. And since this larger one is quite a, quite a bit bigger um, well maybe not from that one but it will be quite a bit bigger than the ones going out to the top so when you paint these ones you can make them a little bit oops, a little bit smaller so then at least you have a few petals not just one or two okay so that's what that looks like it's not looking like a whole lot right now, but now that you have your outline, now we're going to put some streaks in. And it doesn't have to be filled in completely solid because we want some of those lines to show like that. So we're just gonna make a few lines like this, filling in the petal. So we're not going for completely solid because we can still see the outline of these streaks. Um, if we were going to go solid with this, we would kind of lose that effect. But we want these nice lines. I think it adds a really nice, really nice interest to those petals. OK, 
Okay, and we're going to be adding colors on top. So if you're worried that too much black is sorting, is um, sorry, sorting, is coming through, just paint a little bit and see how things go because we're going to be adding lots of layers. Um, so you won't see a lot of this anyway. side point um, you don't have to hold your canvas like this uh, as you're following along I mean I'm sure you realize that um, I do this for my painting classes so that I can easily walk around so if this is something that you're thinking of doing as a business as well it's kind of a nice skill to learn uh, to have um, I've had many comment on the different types of paint parties and paint uh, evenings that they've gone to and um, one thing that they like about my service is that I walk around and I try to give one-on-one -on -one assistance. So I'll do the lesson. Sometimes if it's a large crowd, I'll go to one side of the room and paint, say, like one petal. And then I'll go to the other tables and um, hold the canvas up. So then those who are painting can really see what's going on. They don't have to look at a big screen or kind of squint or <laughs> whatever. And uh, it's, it's nice for me too because then I get to walk around and have a lot more interaction with those who come to my paint parties. And it's quite, quite enjoyable. And sometimes just seeing your technique up close gives your students some, some confidence that they can do it as well. Whoops. Starting to look like fire. <laughs> I love it. Now that we are finished doing the outline and the first layer of our petals, um, you may have a little bit of red still on your paintbrush. So what I'm going to do is leave this, this area totally alone, uh, the corner, because it's supposed to be solid black. So you want to check that if it's solid black, if you need to add a little bit more, uh, feel free to do that now. I have a little bit of red left on my brush, so I'm just going to kind of wipe it off in this little little area here. You don't want um, solid streaks, but if you have a little bit of paint left over, or see here, for example, I know that that is way too thick. 
and it will take a million years to dry. So I'm just gonna take that and wipe it off in here. I mean, you don't have to do this step. It adds a little bit of um, starting background. So then when you put your other colors, yeah, wherever I kind of, oops, I don't wanna lose my line. Yeah. I'm just gonna wipe off my brush a little bit to add a little bit of color underneath there. I mean, this might seem like a little bit ugly right now <laughs> because it is, um, but it's not gonna stay like this. We're gonna be adding lots of uh, layers again. So this is just to, just to blend it a little bit so that the, the head of the flower connects with the petals and adds a little bit of color underneath. So once you've done that, we're going to take a little bit of the black that we have left over as well and make a few streaks in between the petals and where the head of the flower is going to be. Um, make sure they're staggered and like you don't want to just paint like a black line, but especially in these connecting parts where the petals are supposed to connect, um, we want to kind of hide that connection a little bit with some of that leftover black. So just a few streaks. Um, if you want to, if you don't feel comfortable doing this step, that's okay. It's mostly just to use up some of that black paint and to start to blend the head of the flower and the petals a little bit, connect them a little bit. So it should look something like that. And then once this is all solid, once you've done a little bit of that blending, then you are totally done with that black. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. So at this point, like this is what my plate looks like. A little crazy, but I do have some space left. So I'm gonna continue to use it with my yellow. But if you have no space left and your black is just going to blend in with your yellow, <laughs> um, I would suggest getting a different plate or washing off your plate and starting again. So once you've done that blending, you don't have to worry about the black anymore. So you don't need it. So if you want to get rid of it, that is okay. Okay, so now we're going to start with some yellow. So I have my daffodil yellow color and just a small little blob on your plate. And I'm going to mix some of this yellow and make orange. So I'll show you what that looks like. our orange color and we're going to start I'm gonna start on the head of the flower so this technique is very simple I'm using well this one is an angle brush but you can use any um, medium brush you can use a rounded brush flat brush angle brush uh, whatever you want because basically it's just dabbing a little bit of color on there so you can either, you can give it a little twirl, you can um, make two together, whatever your preference is and whatever you think will look good. So I'm just going to dab along all the way around the flower. And you kind of want to watch that it doesn't get too busy and you don't want to get too close to the center. Sometimes less, less is more. Okay. 
we're going to use some of that color too and add a couple of streaks to our petals. So not a lot, just a few, um, just so that we can start getting some highlighting going on. going to go in with straight yellow. Same technique, same idea. Load up your medium brush with the yellow. Um, but this time we're going to go in between the... Uh, we're going to go some on the orange, down with the orange, and some back up to the black center area. Okay. Already we're starting really beautiful colors on here which will look fantastic on your yard on your yard <laughs> on your wall sorry I'm looking at my yard there is some strange cat coming in to visit If it's not quite dry, that's okay. Some of that blend of color is actually really nice. And just at the top, I'm just going to go very light with the bristles. So now I'm going to add some dots of color um, in between uh, the orange and the petals just to kind of connect. So here you don't want to cover over the orange. Just add a few, few little, uh, little spots like that just to connect them. So you don't want to lose all of your work already with that orange. I'm just working to connect the sunflower. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the orange here on this part. We're gonna add those highlighting streaks, but with yellow. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this color on my plate. Load up my paintbrush. And add a few streaks. Again, not covering over what you've done already, but just adding to it, adding some nice um, variation of color. So now we're going to work a little bit on that center part, as you can see there. So you're going to need your small brush. That's my small brush. And we're going to add little dots of yellow. Make it kind of whimsical something interesting like adding little stars to the night sky just something really pretty really pretty and playful so I'm not going to be painting all the way up to the center we're gonna get kind of close but not too close just around that ring that we've created so far with the yellow variation there with the size of the dots so that it kind of looks interesting and to kind of tie it together I'm wiping off my brush on the plate so that there's barely any paint left on it and I'm just gonna add just a couple little little streaks of yellow So before we use our white color, we're going to go back in with the red that we had earlier. The very same red. Plain, simple red. So we're going to use our medium brush after I've washed it off a little bit. So I still have some red left on my plate and it is still wet so I'm able to use that. If not, you can add a little bit of paint to your plate. And we're going to go over some of our lines and adding some of that vibrant color back in that we started with in the beginning. It's not too much, but just enough to make the colors pop a little bit. Like so. So we haven't totally lost the red.
Now I'm going to touch up the bottom just a little bit so that I have more of that, um, more of that shape that I want. So feel free to add red or a little more yellow or whatever you think will make your sunflower look beautiful. Some of that yellow because I think I lost it a little bit here. Yeah, add just a little bit. That was the same dirty brush. Like I didn't even wash it off after I used the red. Just grabbed a bunch. work it too much um, because then you'll start to, otherwise you'll start to lose um, a lot of what we've already worked on a lot of that color but if you just happen to notice that hey I want a little bit more yellow or a little bit more red in that area then feel free to work it in but yeah it's good to know it's good to step back and if it looks pretty good then just have to walk away <laughs> Not always the easiest thing to do. But sometimes the best thing. As you can see, I don't have very much room on my plate, but I've been using the side of the plate. So grab some yellow, put that there. Grab a little bit of that. I'm oh, sorry, grab some white. Man, oh man. Grab some white and then picked up the yellow and mix it in. A little white. Just a nice kind of creamy color. Okay, clearly quite a bit brighter, quite a bit lighter than that yellow, but not completely white. Okay, so you can dip your brush in. I'm gonna wipe mine off a little bit because it's a little bit overloaded. Oops, got a little bit of that pink still left in there. Wipe it off a little bit and we're ready to highlight. Okay, so I have that highlight color and just in the center of that yellow, just going to lightly add little drops of color. And if it blends a little bit with that yellow, that is okay. And if it, if it is picking up some of that yellow, then it's probably going to look even better. You'll get a nice little blend going on. Just very, very light in the center. that's left is adding a couple of streaks of that highlighting white so the difference with this paint color and the other ones we did for our petals is we're going to stick mainly to the top we're not going to go to the edge so add that little bit of highlight just to the top of the flower like so The sun is just catching the tops of that petal. Just a few little half streaks, like so.
little bit to that center part here too where I think there might be a little bit too much black or too much red. up some of that yellow then it's probably going to look even better. You'll get a nice little blend. Going on just very very light in the center. that's left is adding a couple of streaks of that highlighting white so the difference with this paint color and the other ones we did for our petals is we're going to stick mainly to the top we're not going to go to the edge so add that little bit of highlight just to the top of the flower like so Looks like the sun is just catching the tops of that petal. Just a few little half streaks, like so. too much black or too much red. feel free to let it dry or blow dry it and add in some of that color. Sometimes that can happen. We can just go a little bit too, too crazy with the color. And uh, then we start to lose what we had. starting to get a little bit of pink which is okay 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 and there you have it there is your sunflower it should look something a little bit like this you should have that big beautiful uh, sunflower head at the top and then these gorgeous uh, 
fiery petals uh, over top of that black, that black uh, background. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like and subscribe. I'm hoping to do more in the future. Um, I love your support. I really appreciate all the feedback that you've been giving me and um, keep being creative and hopefully we can paint again sometime. Okay, see you. Thank you.